<laughs> okay. Yeah, weather's warming up, so we got um, we got like one last dark beer episode, and that's that's today. So it's sad to see it go, but we're going a little tropical with it, though. We are still, yeah, a little tropical. So today is a coconut, dark coconut uh, beer, dark dark coconut edition. Coconut Dark Beer episode, uh, episode 13, Brandon and Trev, uh, back at it with another Drinking Buddies episode. Today we are starting off with a very popular, staple coconut beer, Coconut Brown by Black Rocks in Marquette, Michigan. I've actually never been there. I think they're in the UPA. <laughs> Olá. Olá. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm sorry. Me too. Normal, just brown looking. The head actually's got some color though, I'll tell you that. Yeah. First beer, coconut brown, uh, Black Rocks, Michigan, 6% coconut brown. I don't get any coconut. No? Mm. Yeah, I get no coconut at all. I get the toast in this of it. Like you can tell that there's like a, you know what I mean, like a roasty flavor. It's a good, easy drinking, yeah. flavorful brown, though. That is for sure. Yeah. And you're right. I get, like, a toasted flavor. Yeah. And I wonder if that's from the brown or if that's from the toasted coconut. I don't know. It's not like a roasted grain mm -hmm. kind of taste. It's more... You're right. It probably is coming from the coconut then. But mm -hmm. well, unfortunately, I get no coconut. Like the actual the yeah. coconut itself. So It's it not bad. easy drinking, though. It is, yeah. With a good amount of flavor. So Yeah, there, yeah. It doesn't taste like watered down or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I, I would love to drink this in the fall. I hope I got a bad can, and next time there's more coconut to it. Um, it's a great brown, but yeah, with it lacking, got super good flavor. Yeah, with it lacking the uh, coconut flavor, which is what I was expecting and hoping for, I gotta go with like a seven because that it's kind of. It's a, a, a great, yeah. a little semi-sweet brown. It's kind of average. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I was in like the 75 area just because I do like that toast in this. I mean, it's different. Yeah. So it has a uniqueness to it. I, 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 I want to down it. Well, down it then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. I actually get some caramel flavor out of it. That le that last sip, that big old gulp that I did, had a pretty good uh, little caramel flavor. Yeah, I don't know about caramel. I don't know. Browns are kind of complex because you got your your caramel notes to it with that light caramel roasted malt, and then you got uh, a lot of people say uh, mild roast, and then a lot of people say um, a uh, toffee nutty flavor. But we'll we'll save yeah. that for a brown episode. Hopefully, this one has a little bit more flavor than that last one. We have Puerto Rico by Arcadia Brewing, 5.5% uh, porter ale brewed with coconut and other natural flavors. Mm. Yeah, the last one was a lot more see-through. Sure. Definitely a dark brown. I'm going to froth it up a little bit and hopefully get those flavors kind of rising through the bubbles. Oh, man. 5.5% uh, Puerto Rico. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It tastes like an almond joint. Thank God, yeah. That's good. I'm happy about that. You said it tasted like an almond joy, and I get a slightly drier almond joy flavor out of this. Yeah, I this doesn't this taste like toasted. Right. This tastes just like a... Like, yeah, like shredded... Mouthful. Of yeah. yeah. It's, it's a really light body porter. It's not... Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the body is almost like that Black Rocks almost, but I can tell that there's just a tiny little bit more uh, roasted flavor mm -hmm. from, the, sure. from the darker malt, but I mean, still as easy drinking almost as that. I would almost say it is still kind of dry mm -hmm. somehow. I was going to say that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, coconut must not have a lot of natural sugar or something because I, with the amount of coconut that I'm getting, yeah. I thought this would be a lot sweeter. But surprisingly, it, it still goes down really easy and just leaves your mouth coated in that coconut flavor. Mm -hmm. So there's a roasted flavor in your mouth, but yeah. then it's like actual coconut, like not roasted coconut. Yeah. 
And like you said, just a mouthful of white shredded coconut. Yeah. And that's, yeah, I think that's exactly it too. Like a fresh coconut mm -hmm. flavor. So very good. I like it a lot. I'll probably hit it with like an eight, four. And I would just want a little bit more of a roasted little amp up the body just a little bit. Cause I think the coconut flavor is perfect. I think it's really, really good. Yeah. That may be just, we've been having a lot of heavy beers too. That's true. I was eight, seven, and I guess is where I was at. I, cool. this, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. But I, I get what you're saying there with it. It's, it is light body and it just kind of, you can tell it like the base porter is just kind of an average. Yeah. Like if it was just the porter, I don't know if it would be that great. No, I wouldn't buy it again. But with the coconut, it's. Mm -hmm. Quite delicious. And I wonder if they back down on the body of the porter so the coconut could come through. Eh? But because in a lot of the vanilla episode, a lot of the, almost all the vanilla porters were lacking in body, but the vanilla came through okay. quite a bit. And I wonder yeah. if they're doing that on purpose. Let's lower the body of the beer so we can add less coconut so your overhead cost of brewing the beer right. isn't so much, but you still get the flavors coming through. So I get it, you know, business wise, but. That's business, baby. That's business, baby. <laughs> no, but that's good. And we're still we're still drinking it and happy yeah. about it. So hey, so I've never heard of this brewery, Collective Arts Brewing. Um, they are in Wanaki, Wisconsin. Uh, just like Untitled Art. That is crazy. Oh, uh -huh. Collective Arts Brewing, Wanaki, Wisconsin. Stranger Than, which is a coconut and chocolate porter. Um, amazing can. Five and a half percent. Um, same percentage as the uh, Arcadia, but this is actually four dollars compared to two. So I better you get about some, half beer more. Yeah, it's a sixteen. Or that's true, but I better get a lot more flavor out of this than that one. Five and a half percent chocolate coconut porter by Collective Arts. Try it out. It's richer. It's yeah. got more body to it, and the coconut lingers more. It's it's definitely, it, it's not like when you first take a drink, you just taste porter. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't get much chocolate. Well, I guess at the end, yeah. Yeah, it's, I think the chocolate and coconut combination. But I, I don't get much coconut. Really? Oh my God, it's just like, it's, it's all just I'm getting. in my mouth. <laughs> For real. It's like coating my whole mouth. I'm still well, tasting like it. it. Yeah. Is your aerator? <laughs> I think the chocolate is 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 binding with the coconut, so maybe that might be why you're not getting a lot. Because I think it's got a a desserty flavor. Am yeah, I right? yeah. Okay, yeah, for sure. And again, yeah. I just wouldn't. I, I can't say that it tastes like coconut like that one. It's not like punching in your face coconut like the you're like right. idea. Yeah, and I think that's because that's exactly what ties. I think that ties into exactly what I was saying. Um, earlier with that, whereas this is a better porter yes. body, and, no. and the chocolate that they add to it, I get a little chocolate. Yeah. So that's kind of masking that coconut flavor. So it isn't punch you in your face coconut like the last one. You're right, but it has that desserty flavor yeah. to it. Almost which like is the, nice. you know the Russell Stover's like coconut nest. No, no. Okay, well, N no. I, I wish I'm not a big candy guy. I used to be fat. So yeah, desserty, um, a little bit lighter bodied still, but that just makes it easier to drink. The flavors make it seem like it's a bigger beer. $4 for a 16 ouncer. Would I buy it again? I I might. You know, I would because I actually do like it. It's a very desserty coconut chocolate beer. Yeah, I would have to give it, I'm going to give it like a 8, 9. I like it a lot. I really, really like it. Right. And there's going to be a difference. Oh, yeah. I was going to go with, like, closer to your A3 for the Arcadia. Really? I guess we're pretty much swapping. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. What would you change? What would you want out of it? A, a little bit more coconut. But rather than that, like, the baseline porter and everything is super good. Mm -hmm. We're getting higher and higher in price and in uh, body. Brown, oh, yeah. porter, a little bit bigger porter, stout.
Short Fuse Brewing Company. I've never heard of them before. German chocolate cake stout with chocolate and coconut. Six and a half percent. Um, Short Fuse Brewing. They are in Schiller Park, Illinois. Cool. First, we started with their classic export stout, made with a blend of American and British roasted malts, giving you that classic roasty coffee and dark chocolate flavors. Then we added in lots of cocoa nibs, chocolate, lactose, and vanilla beans to recreate those flavors of German chocolate cake. One sip will make you think it's your birthday. You, those are bold <laughs> words, and that just got me excited. Holy cow. That's a hell of a description. Oh, yeah. That's what I want right there. More, more. Yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> Gotta love that life, don't you? Love it. That is sweet and creamy. Yeah. But. Do you get any coconut? No. No. I don't get much. It's we. It's a different flavor. But that la there's so much lactose sugar in there. Oh. I mean, it is just creamy, creamy. Oh yeah. I can see vanilla and chocolate. I when I when you aerate it, I get a creamy vanilla chocolate. Um, I get a little yeah, roastiness of the malt. Yeah, I I get it's that. Just, it's just super creamy. Yeah, this is the most lactose sugar I've ever tasted in a beer. Yeah. Absolutely no coconut, a little bit of chocolate. I I can pinpoint some roast, and then it's just vanilla and then cream. Cream yeah. is the biggest thing I can get out of this. The roast it doesn't last long. Mm -mm. No, nope. it's very but it very is there. quickly resided by the creaminess of it. Yeah, yeah, and it's there, and I love it. I'm surprised it's not a higher alcohol percentage. This tastes like a huge beer. Yeah, like For it, six and a half percent. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to have just a astronomical amount. <laughs> lactose sugar. <laughs> well, that's the biggest thing. Uh, lactose sugar is actually unfermentable. And shout out to uh, North Grove Brewers in Montague, Michigan. I went there yesterday and had amazing beer. Talked to the brewer. He was sitting up at the bar, and that's kind of what you hope for when you go to a brewery that you can talk to the people yeah. that work there. And um, same with Berserk Brewing in Grand Haven, Michigan. I mean, amazing yeah, that's cool. owner. That's a cool place. Yeah, uh, I sat and talked to him for a while. Um, those small, intimate breweries that are opening up are really cool because they're talking with the public. I mean, the owner and brewer was bartending at Berserk Brewing. Yeah. I mean, that's just cool. I learned oatmeal, or adding oats, adds creaminess, but the sugars that derive from it and that are added to the beer are fermentable, so the yeast eat it. Whereas lactose sugar is unfermentable, yeast do not eat it. It has that body, but then it also has the uh, sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, for a cake stout, yeah, I, I kind of I mean, get cake. Yeah, no, yeah. And maybe that's the vanilla that's coming through. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say German chocolate cake because the German chocolate cake has that uh, coconut. And like I said, I'm not getting yeah. a lot of coconut, but I get a big desserty, fudgy almost. Yeah, fudge. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from Michigan. You know we like that Mackinac fudge. <laughs> no Mackinac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is great. This is a heavy-duty freaking yeah. stout. Like, I don't think my dad would like this. Uh, Why not? Would you like this to be barrel-aged? Well, hell. Oh, <laughs> I mean, well, you're gonna put that in my head. So if you're, if you're asking, <laughs> I mean, I'm never really age everything. <laughs> With them saying that it had coconut in it, I have to bring it down a little bit. But this is an amazing, flavorful, rich, desserty beer. Yes. Yeah. And I have to give this like a nine. And if it had coconut in it, it would be well, way I'll up there. You there. I mean, a nine. That's that's a I'll rich. I'll meet you there for sure. Yeah. Cool. It's uh, yeah, it's flavor packed. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Great, uh, great job, short fuse. Never heard of you. Um, I'll be looking out for more. Today we are ending it heavy as possible uh, with odd side eleven year anniversary imperial stout Asian bourbon barrels with coconut. 
This bad mug comes in at 17.76%. To celebrate our 11th anniversary, we created this limited edition Imperial Stout. It was aged in bourbon barrels for 14 months with coconut. That's a year plus two. Oh, man. <laughs> this is bad. Just black as night. I'm nervous. Yeah. Seven fifty seven dollar and fifty cent can of seventeen point eight percent imperial style brewed with coconut. I'm excited. Cheers. Cheers, mate. You can tell. Hold. You can tell. I mean, all day that that's a very, very high ABV beer. Yeah. But it is so well rounded. So you're getting a huge roasty stout flavor. Huge. That I don't know how that's not a maple bourbon barrel. You get a sweet desserty oh, flavor oh. out of it. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, if I can be 100% honest, I get absolutely zero coconut. No, no um, coconut. I'm not saying okay. that. I'm saying yeah. like that flavor from the maple bourbon barrels is what I'm getting. That like sweet, but it's a heavy. You're right. It is a heavy burp. It's super sweet at the beginning, and mm -hmm. then at like a knife. ever so. I wouldn't say like a knife. I, I was gonna like say a... ever so delicately. Oh, okay. So mine was well, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are <about> total... <laughs> <laughs> Different pages there. I'm saying like it's like this sweet. It is sweet, but I don't get coconut. But I mean, with it being such a hell, such a high alcohol percentage, it has to be sweet. I mean, almost eighteen percent. You have to have so much oh. malt added to it where it's gonna be sweet. So you get that really sweet imperial, chocolatey, roasty. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say caramel, but I know that there's you know yeah, oh, there's caramel. Yeah. It, that sweetness, caramel flavor is in there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just like butter, like a knife cutting through oh. butter, the alcohol like separates yes. it. Yeah. I didn't mean like a meat cleaver. Yeah. Oh, like, I thought you were violent. Like, no, no. <laughs> like Jason. I think it finishes with nothing but alcohol. I think oh, yeah. It's, it's a bourbon, but it's not overpowering. You're right. Yeah. I'm super, super surprised by Oddside on this one. Me too. Yeah. They I didn't have. Very good job. Mm -hmm. I don't even think that they'd be able to pull off something like that. No. I mean, they knocked it out of the park. I feel like on this one. I'll drink to that. It's almost creamy in the beginning with how much sweetness comes through. And it's got that caramely, roasty. Um, yeah. I would say borderline the roast with the coffee. Yeah. I mean, that, that roast has that coffee flavor, but it's still just creamy and smooth. And then, yeah. I don't I just, get much coconut, but I think it just is what, it just works into the flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't pick it out at all. Yeah, You're yeah. right. It might be in there, and it might be adding that kind yeah. of flavor to it. But, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not picking it out a lot, but that's that's awesome. It is kind of that one that you would sit around like a glass of bourbon and just Absolutely. sipping on. It's, it, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, it, it catches up, like, that bourbon flavor and whatnot. It's, mm -hmm. It doesn't make you want to drink a bunch. And, I mean, you're keeping this on tap. <laughs> we'll be there. You're going to need a place for the stogies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just wish it had that coconut flavor. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, a yeah. I'm not very upset, but I am let down that the coconut flavor does not come through. It, and you should have just said... Our imperial style Asian bourbon barrels. Well, but I'm sure yeah. it does have coconut in there. I'm sure it adds something to the flavor. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But can you pick it out? No. No. These three right here, it's hard for me to rate that because you know there's like big coconut, big body, light coconut. Or, like, a lot of coconut and then light body and then, like, you know, no coconut but huge, great beer. And then it's like this, like, holy cow, that's a rich-ass beer. Like, right. if that had coconut, I would prefer that. As, but it's hard to rate this lower than that because this has this is such a As a daily drinker. Beer. And right. That's and that's what I'm saying. Thing. What do you, drinkability, do you want 
there I mean the drinkability obviously you're going to be at one yeah 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 you're not going to or leave. even sharing it like yeah I mean after the flavor's all there and it's so amazing but like after this I'll, I'll be good you know what I mean I this is a special want, occasion uh, holiday yeah drinking hey man hey you want you want to go split a beer out in the garage while the family's you know what right. You know, do it. You know, Thanksgiving. Hey, man, I got I got a reserve for you. Know you. I mean, where we usually hang out. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to hit it with like a like a nine two, a nine two. I think it's great. Is it my personal favorite? No, but I think that they deserve a nine two because they almost did exactly what they wanted to. I liked your first score with a nine three. There you have. I mean, hey, it's. It's low to mid nines. I mean, it's it's almost there. I mean, Try that it. is a big, rich, special occasion beer. If there's still some on the shelves, you're gonna have to get it because right. it's gonna go quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna rearrange them. And I know that's bad because I rated this higher than these two, but that don't make sense. individually. This is an amazing, flavorful beer. So Black Rocks, no coconut flavor at all. Pretty good brown. Didn't really live up. Arcadia Brewing's Coconut Porter. Um, a lot of coconut flavor, lacking on the body of the porter, though. Mm. Outside, I cannot believe that Outside did a beer like that because it is rich, flavorful. I mean, huge bourbon flavor. Collective Arts Chocolate and Coconut Porter. I think that there was a lot of coconut. Those, those like a lot of like uh, chocolate, coconut, kind of mixed together with like a slight roastiness of the porter, a bigger body porter than the Arcadia, and I really liked it. But I'm telling you right now, short fuse in Illinois. I think it was the creamiest beer I've ever had. I promise, if you had, if they had coconut in that, that would be the winner. I mean, hands down. And it I mean, it is my personal winner. So that, that, that's what we're doing. I mean, I love this. If you had coconut in that, I would buy I would buy a six-pack every t every single time I saw that. I mean, that was so, so amazing. Please add more coconut. It was, it was great. Black Rocks, average, I guess, kind of brown. Collective Arts, not much coconut flavor. I definitely got the chocolate, and it was good chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. The short fuse, the coconut, you can definitely add more coconut. Yeah, thanks. The odd side, super good. Just all around good beer. Yeah. But at the same time, could add, could add more, coconut. more coconut. For sure. The Arcadia, that surprised me so much with the coconut. Yeah. Like there was nothing but coconut, really. Every single one of them had a different flavor, mm -hmm. and that's why we do that. I, I mean, that's, that's so weird to see everybody's take on it. Yeah, yeah. And every single episode that we have where there's a special ingredient, every beer tastes different. Mm -hmm. So, I and mean, it's not like slight variance. It's like night and day. Yeah, every single one somehow yeah. is crazy. So, dark beer season's over, guys. I'm. We're getting, we're getting into awards. I'm sorry, and I mean, I know Trevor likes his dark beers too, but it's the changing of the seasons, changing of the tides. It's, mm -hmm. you know, RIP to dark beer season, and cheers to uh, spring, uh, lighter beers, and new beer styles yet to come. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. It's funny, the picture. Oh, my God. Can you aim it down a little bit, man? So it's not. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like a weird buzzard, vulture, wolverine, coyote. A necklace. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. Clean up. What are you doing? Dude, it's. <laughs> there's a hole in it or something. <laughs> you just saw it. Babe, hold on. We need a napkin or something. <laughs> He made a mess. What is your deal? You go to bed and you think about how you're acting, little one. Victoria? Babe? Don't.
boat to your trailer. Wow. Because <laughs> we're at a studio. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. I want to get paid enough. Okay. Do that okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that coming down the road. What? <laughs> like going down? I was like hoping you were outside. Oh, <laughs> you're like the Ace Ventura, you know, where he's like driving yourself. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the dude's just sitting still next to him. <laughs> Art Collective. Collective Arts. Any huge. Art Collective. Collective Arts. Collective Arts. I don't know why. Son of I a can't bitch. Not get that. Cut. <laughs> but I really didn't get that one out of the. <clears throat> you had me all screwed up. <laughs> you ever put a dip in a straight coconut? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't spitting that. We're sucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>